All right, we are back. What's up with it, y'all? That's what we, that's how we coming in. That's right? how we coming in, <laughs> and we miss Bianca because Bianca's usually the one to come in second. Like we got our act together, and now it's just me and you. He like he like uh, introduce y'all. Got to <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm definitely ain't gonna do that. Hey, welcome back to Urban Absurdity, man. We are proud to be here, man. We got some special guests. It's gonna be a fun time. Yes, yes. These some people that I know, you know, and these are people that we should recognize in the city. Uh, I'm gonna let you introduce them, Ron. How you want me to hit him? You want me to hit him with the with the famous intro? Yeah, hit him with the famous intro, man. You know I got no famous intro. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right. We want to introduce to you to the world the host of the Morning Grind with Shay and Shine, Brian B. Shine and Shay Moore. Amen. What's happening, man? Appreciate y'all having us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We had to get y'all here, man. It's an honor to be here. You it's know, like, man, we all be affecting y'all real radio people, so we had to get y'all in here to kind of like feel y'all essence, like you know what I mean. See what makes y'all go, see what make y'all tick. So, well, you know, I'm, I'm, it ain't nothing with me getting on her nerves, so <laughs> I got to do that. That's, that's just a daily occurrence. So is that real? Like that ain't no acting. Y'all really like each other? Yeah, this yeah. is this is my <laughs> this is my little brother. So that's what people are connecting with. He's an annoying little brother. And I got to keep him together. And whenever I go places, they say, Shay, give Brian a break. I'd be like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how Bianca is with us. Like, she's the one that maintains the order. Like, right now, it's like just leaving a kid at home with his daddy. It's like, you know, tell him what's going to happen with us. So I'm going to call Bianca and let her know we got a good show in and we wrapped it up. So I mean, it's just like a house. You know, you, you, need, a, you need a black woman to get things in order, dog. Yeah, I used yeah. to didn't think that, but yeah, I yeah, really know that yeah. shit now, bro. Yeah. No, I mean, like, all right, so like. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm, I'm new to this household thing with you know, you know, uh, being a provider. Yeah. And I know the way that I think and the way that I do, is one way, which is I'm logical and I'm only thinking about the big picture and and all this other stuff. Meanwhile, my fiance, she's thinking about all the little stuff that I'm missing, mm-hmm. and it's stuff that I don't even notice. Yeah. I don't even know that I need to look out for this. Mm-hmm. So, bro, that's the beauty, and it's annoying though, ain't it? It's hell like yeah, it's annoying. It's annoying as hell. Going through life, like living alone, you know what I mean. Handling your shit, feeling like you know what I mean. I got my shit together. You know what I mean. When I run across a woman, she gonna know I got all this. Yeah. Then they come in and slowly like put pieces of you together. <laughs> yeah. That you didn't know that was scattered around. You know yeah. what I mean. It's Facts. like yeah. So so, but here's the thing though. <laughs> I say like pre Brian pre Shay and Brian, you know post Shea, not post Shay. I guess during Shay. Uh huh. Is, is <laughs> doing a revelation. <laughs> sound like COVID. Right now, say. <laughs> you can't like she was like we was talking about this on the way here. She was transformative <laughs> in my life. Yeah, that's and dope. um, and, and, and so many great ways, professionally and personally. Yeah, you know, uh, I can't even count the ways that she's helped me, and she's helped me recognize and see things that I ain't never seen, didn't even thought that I need to see. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's with her and my fiance. Yeah. You know, they kind of work hand in hand with that, with helping me grow. Yeah, that's dope, man. They had a good woman around. I got a good it woman around fact. me, and man, like I said, I, Listen, I never knew I needed it until I seen it. I want to say before we get started, I want to say that Shay Moore, <laughs> she is um, like she's transformative to me, but she's transformative for the city. Yeah. Okay. Like she's. I don't know if like I, I'm an avid 103 listener. Always have been since uh-huh. I was a kid. And ain't nobody worked as hard or had as many ideas or has reached out to so many people in so little time as this young lady has. Mm-hmm. And I'm a witness to it, man. Mm-hmm. And I That's just dope. she needs her flowers, man. Mm-hmm. As hard as she works, I see That's her. Dope. Hard you give them to her right now on this That's show. That's dope. Dope. I tell her that I don't know she be believing <laughs> it. You. That's dope. But she know how I feel about it. You my little brother. Just be quiet. Let's talk about titties. Let's talk about something else. This is weird. You know I like some titties now. Talk about titties all goddamn day. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. Don't get this dude started. Do not get him started. This is not that type of show. <laughs> Yo, that's dope. Now y'all make us do that to our uh our co-host. Y'all gonna make us do that to be. We honest. were just talking shit for our last last Sunday. We was talking, <laughs> only only do it if we're it's to get her a cake, man. <laughs> yeah. Nah, she dope. She is dope. Now we miss her and shit. Yeah, we usually talk about it when she late, huh. but then when she'll show up and then got out of Hey, let's give her flowers <laughs> while she ain't here so we can go back talking shit when she get back. <laughs> no, no, we don't wait. We'll save the flowers. <laughs> nah, this is this is this is really dope. Uh I know we were talking about earlier like how 
your come up was different. Your come up was different in the city. Uh, maybe you guys can explain that for the viewers. I already know, but they don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know, and I got a whole lot of questions about it too. Shay, go first. So whoever wants to start, Cause Shay, because Shay ain't originally from here. Shay is no, from. No, I'm from New York originally. They they uh-huh. feel it in the voice. And uh, my mother moved us to Atlanta, and I went to high school in Atlanta. So is Atlanta like the show? No. No? No. I like the show, though. The show is funny, and they're yeah. coming out with a new season I can't this wait. week. Actually, is tomorrow. It th- tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Yep. I got to wait for it to hit a couple of episodes. She sounds like she's on the pay. show. You know how those people <laughs> on the show say Atlanta? <laughs> I say Atlanta. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm that, sorry. Go ahead. Y'all actually say it right. So, um, I went to an HBCU, Johnson C. Smith University in Charlotte, Dope. North Carolina. And I really wanted to be a clinical psychologist. Uh-huh. I really had a rough childhood, and I wanted to be able to help kids who um, were like me, mm-hmm. had nobody to talk to, didn't have um, those authority figures to really help me through. I kind of just went and did whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, took my first psychology class, fell asleep. 15 minutes later, I was like, there's no way I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is I can't boring. sign up for this. Not uh-uh. this. That story was inspiring to that 15 minutes. <laughs> you had us. It was really funny. <laughs> and I sit in the front row everywhere I go. Uh, so I was in the front row asleep. <laughs> damn, <laughs> knocked minutes. out. Yeah. So it just didn't interest you is what you're saying. It was boring. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I thought we was going to be doing CSI and, and figuring out who the killer is. <laughs> but it was like, no, let's go to chapter one. What it the was clues very, right? <laughs> None of that. Okay, I get you. So um, people have always said I had a nice voice voice and so i kind of just looked around to see what programs they had and we had a radio station and i was like well maybe i can do this Mm -hmm. really and yeah i switched my major and i took it i did an internship at power 98 in charlotte and i've been working ever since thank god that's dope you know a lot of people they don't uh in college actually they don't they say after their sophomore year that's when they realize what they really want to do you only took you 15 minutes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that shit crazy. Took a little nap, woke up, like I'm about to get on the radio. <laughs> she said they did I like have that. a nice voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm looking at your credits, though. It says you've been on air in North Carolina, New York, Wichita, Dallas, Atlanta, New Orleans. How does a person get to do so many markets and move around like that? Like, oh boy. Like, is it magic? Like, what's going on? Uh, well, get your pen and paper out, man. I got Uh-oh. it. I got it, too. I've been fired three times. He had to oh, find another shit. job. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some good-ass jobs, though, to be getting fired from. God is good. Mm-hmm. He's always blessed me. He's always ordered my steps. Every situation has always been an improvement. So when people fired me, I came up bigger. Mm-hmm. So that's my thing. Even if the people at the radio station now listening, don't mess with me. Because <laughs> I'm be doing radio on the moon next. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's always the next level. It's always the next level. All right, uh-huh. so my man Brian B, he ain't got his words out. I want to see. I, I just hear about you through the network. <laughs> everybody, everybody that know you say the same thing. Are we going to well, interrogate them both? Nah, you, what do they say? They say they say that you used to be killing in the college. <laughs> That's what they say. That they be, they, I ain't never I, been to the college party. I was all right, man. But no, that's not what they say, man. I, I gra- you know, born and raised KC Mo. You know what it is. I actually, check this out, though. I got KCK ties because. Oh, let's talk fir- about it. The first school I ever went to was Pleasant Green. No sh- no stuff. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I told you. Nigga censored itself. I cussed. I cussed. <laughs> Pleasant Green is where the church is at. Oh, okay. My yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but it was a church. I didn't know. <laughs> like, no sh- no <laughs> stuff. No, it was. No, it was I'm a sorry, private God. school. I went, there, <laughs> I went there kindergarten, first, second grade. Uh, second grade spelling bee championship that you didn't talk shit about, Shay. Oh, oh my second god! Second grade, you know, what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? Still got your trophy? I got it at the at, at my mama's house. What y'all was doing? Up. I got Bible it. chapters and shit. <laughs> Bible books. <laughs> nah, we was spelling spell cat. Spelled <laughs> spell rat. Yeah. I He's mean, excited. I misspelled black. <laughs> In the first grade, and only got second place. Uh, I redeemed myself the next year, got first place. Bro, you can't right? be light skinned and misspelling right? black now. Right? They've been talking, they talking about season. us for years. So, so yeah, I went to uh, Pleasant Green. I'm so old that I used to get whoopings in school. Damn, at, at the, Pleasant, Pleasant Green. Yep, Teacher whoopings? My mama, my mama used to say Green. they used to hand out them yeah, whoopings. Pleasant back Green, there. they used to whoop your ass. Man. Yeah, with, with, the, with, the, with the paddle, the principal <laughs> and the teacher could get you. Damn. Damn. You was getting whoopings, though? Yeah. Damn. Absolutely. <laughs> and you a spelling bee champ. And spelling bee champ. Like I can do be it all. How they whooping the spelling bee champ? What kind of. I can do it all. School is this? So, yeah, graduated from Northeast in 2003. You graduated from Northeast? 03, baby. Vikings, what's happening? Dang. That's a t- that, was they as tough as they are now? 
Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> the stories I hear nah, about man. Northeast is wild. Nah, Northeast, I mean, you know, th- I mean, look at the, 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 the neighborhood. Hood. I mean, yeah. you know, it's on Independence Ave. So, yeah. uh, Jerry Silver Slipper was right across the street. You man, feel me? did you go? So, man, you can have a strip no, club no. in a school <laughs> zone? I didn't know that. <laughs> Bro, the strip club is in. I didn't in, know nothing about that. It's in skipping distance. <laughs> <laughs> all right? That nigga said, we're going to skip. Okay, so we're going we gonna to skip. Oh, God, to I Jerry Silver Slipper. I'm to get a permit for that. Right? Nah, but um, Damn school across the street. <laughs> but yeah, Northeast 03. I have to look into that. Went to Northwest Missouri State, um, majored in broadcast, and I didn't know if I wanted to do sports or music at first. I had no clue. I was well, conflicted. So you, so you mean like sports or music as far as broadcasting? Yes. Or? Okay. But I did in at Northwest. I broadcast football games when Northwest was at Arrowhead Stadium, whooping yeah, Central Missouri State, dope. Pitt State's ass See? all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm playing. saying? That's how we do. We are the D2 Alabama. Okay. Northwest Missouri State. We represent. But, um, <laughs> That's a big claim. I mean, I mean, great football school. You we know came what hard on them. We came hard on them, too. Um, but, um, yeah, graduated from there December 12, 2008. Um, but during that time when I was at Northwest and majoring in broadcasting, I got my internship at, at 103 mm-hmm. um, in May, May of 2006. Mm-hmm. And um, a week into that, my pops passed away. Damn. And, yeah. man, it was – and you know that ties into my story or whatever. And we'll get into that later on or whatever. But yeah, yeah I've been in, been in one hundred three ever since. I did not know that. Got hired in 07. I was intern in 06, got hired in 07. When when people say they intern, I never interned before. But when people say they intern, they don't pay you. you. Do free shit. No. Yeah. And you, that, well, well, I took it. I mean, it's all about a mindset with me. You, <laughs> nah, I would have did it, but I didn't know. You, I you took that as an opportunity free. to show what I can do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know how hard I can work. Uh, I can be dependable. Mm-hmm. I just did whatever. That's that. I mean, I know Gen Z or whoever don't have that mindset now, but that's that's what I had, and, yeah. and I stick by that. Was you on air when you were interning? No, no. So it was just pretty much just grassroots shit. Yeah, I was working with y'all. Remember Kenny Diamonds? I was working with him uh-huh. a lot. You know, with, uh, with Underground Heat, and <laughs> and I was you know washing vans and going to pick up Gates mix plates for the staff. Must been nice. oh, okay. Must yeah. been nice. A do boy. Mm-hmm. Them mix yeah. plates. Yeah. Yeah. Them mix plates ain't the same. Yeah, you had to put in your work though. But <laughs> Let's rewind just a little bit, though. Go ahead. What made you go into broadcasting? Like, as a kid, is that something you wanted to do? Did somebody suggest it or say you should? Well, you know what I mean? Here's where my pops comes in. Um, when I was in the eighth grade at Paseo. You know, he sat me down. And I'm 13, 14 years old. And, you know, it's time to get serious. Brian, what you really want to do with your life? He mm-hmm. sat down and talked to me. And I encourage everybody. Uh, to talk to somebody who knows you better than you know you yourself. Because mm-hmm. I, I still am discovering myself today. Uh, back then, I really didn't know who I was at 13. Mm-hmm. So my pops yeah. knew who I was. But he asked me, what you want to do? And I you know, I wanted to say something impressive. Mm-hmm. I said, I want to be a stockbroker. I said, Brian, come on, bro. You know, <laughs> right. you, know you you ain't finna do all that. Man. Right. Yeah. I was like, all right, then. What about a lawyer? Mm-hmm. Brian, you know you don't, you don't be reading like that, fam. Like, come mm-hmm. on, man. So then he was like, "Man, what about broadcasting?" Damn. I had never thought about that before, cause mm-hmm. but I used to turn down football games and act like I was like Dick Enberg or whoever broadcasting the games. Damn. I would, yeah, all the time I would do that, and I was a, I told you I was an avid one hundred and three listener. Mm-hmm. I woke up and listened to the radio, mm-hmm. went to sleep listening to the radio. So. um that that's how I got into broadcast, and my pops uh, cultivated that into me, spoke it into existence, and um and thankfully my my uh, counselor Miss Fisher at Northeast, uh she you know it it became a curriculum my senior year of high school. That's how much I wanted it. It, be, it mm. was a it was a club my junior year, then it became a curriculum my senior year, mm. and um it took off from there, man. Man, that's dope. That's dope. I gotta bro. do a documentary. <laughs> I gotta see. I gotta see dad talking but, to you. But I gotta I, see it. I need to add this. <laughs> Sound like a too. powerful scene. Yeah. Though. I need to add this on. Get Morgan too. Freeman in there because, like, I've been going to like premarital counseling, mm-hmm. and like I, I just put two and two together with my counselor or my therapist last night, saying that my because my pops he wanted to be in that industry a little wow. bit. He was writing. Mm. I never told you that. My pops was writing. We used to have reading like um reading uh competitions like mm-hmm. we would take like the newspaper and whoever could read it the best who didn't have skips who didn't have mm-hmm. hiccups or any of that you know we would just kind of do that back and forth mm-hmm. damn but it's through my therapist that i you know i kind of put them two together and he kind of he helped mm-hmm. me out with that when i was in high school he did damn, damn bro dope, man 
They got some good stories. Man. Yeah, there's some damn good stories, man. We had right through. I'm not expecting these stories today. <laughs> be honest, good. She gonna be mad. She wasn't here. <laughs> oh, it's this, this one. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna ask both of y'all this question: What's the best part about being a radio personnel? Something different every day. It's like a live action play. We're doing a play every day. You mm-hmm. don't know what the other person's going to say. You don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, in my time in this business, I've gone through some of the worst times in my life. But when the mic comes on, you just got to go and do what you got to do, mm-hmm. regardless of what's going on in your personal life, mm-hmm. regardless of what you may be dealing with as a female monthly. You yeah. still got to do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah, still got to work. Yeah, okay. I, I guess like when we be listening to you guys on the radio, we don't. Really, I, I know this is gonna sound fucked up, but we really don't be worried. We don't really be thinking about what you're going through personally. Exactly, like, that's so what, crazy. And that's, that's what, what I tell them all the time. That's crazy. They don't care what you're going through. Like I never, I never, <laughs> I never, I never, about I never, I never be like, damn, what's she really going through in life? <laughs> <laughs> I be like, well, she up early in the morning. <laughs> now, she up early. Okay. Now Shay, Shay gets on. That's and that's one. The way she's helped me out, you know, mm-hmm. is is getting on me about that. When I I still kind of struggle with that sometimes. Yeah. So he's not a yeah. morning person. He nah. don't want to get really? up. Damn. I'm like, you're up. How now. long y'all had your morning I a, show? I'm a night It'll owl. Be seven fam. years uh, in September. Seven years later, B. I am a night owl. Fam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like breakfast food. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather sleep than eat all day. So, yeah. okay. but, but um, to answer like create the creativity, mm-hmm. um. In which I didn't, I don't think I had another another reason why she's transformative, mm-hmm. because she really like helped me tap into my creativity. Um, you That's know, with, with the chief songs, with the little skits that we do here and there. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, with the contest that we do, that's my jam, and you know all the little stuff that we do. They're just being creative and being able to to look back on your creation and 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 to see that it makes people smile and makes people look forward to listening to your show, man. It, it means mm-hmm. the world to me. It does. When people shout us out for why you mad though or the I was Chief just about song. to ask about that. Who came up with that? One? That was Brian. That was you? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's my jam is Brian, too. I don't know why he said me. But <laughs> because you helped me be creative with it. No. That's dope, I actually man. hate that's my jam. <laughs> she does. <laughs> I love it. I was about to say, damn, we got exclusive. I literally hate it, but no one knows. So usually he they interacts with now. the people. I be like, all right. <laughs> but the listeners love it, though. Yeah. That's the reason why yeah, we do it. It's like Star Search. That's the reason why we do it. Okay. That is dope. At first, I didn't believe in it. I was like, oh, my God. This sounds like something that fell out of 1980s ass. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm always looking for... What's next? Yeah, like she I, is I brutally like honest. Do... I love it. I yeah. like that. Yeah. You need that though. Yeah. You need that. I, I it remember. sounded old to me, yeah. mm-hmm. but the listeners love it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, Brian, you were right. I had to bust down. I said, you were right. Yeah. I was wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know hey, saying? as long as it's working. <laughs> exactly. All right, so you got a podcast, right? Yes. I read that you had a podcast, People, Places, and Things. Tell uh-huh. us about it. Well, it's a podcast that I started to highlight um, dope people in the city. Mm-hmm. You know, and when the pandemic happened, I kind of fell off, but I did two seasons of it. Mm-hmm. And I actually got a, a, a one of the podcasts to watch in um, one of these publications around the city. It was really dope. So we've had a lot of different people on the show and it gets serious. Like I've had everybody just about cry. Brian didn't cry on his episode though. <laughs> but um so it gets serious like Yeah. You you find out a lot of things about people mm-hmm. when you get a chance to talk to them long form. At our radio station we talk four times an hour. Mm-hmm. Each break is like maybe two and a half minutes. So we don't have a lot of time to get into full depth. So that podcast yeah. allows me to talk to people and find out, you know, how you got to where you are, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it's always a journey. Everybody's got a story. Mm-hmm. So, you know, some Oprah shit, like making yeah. people cry, like really breaking them up yep. down and shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up though. But the crazy part about it is, you know, and, and people may say, Oh, you, you, she cursed, she do this, she do that. But I'm very God centric. Like he's mm-hmm. the head of my life. And he literally tells me like, sometimes we'll be talking to a listener and something would just say, ask them this mm-hmm. and and it be right you know what i'm saying yeah. it's just and then i'll just ask a, a certain question and they'll be like ah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> You hit that nerd. You hit that nerd. <laughs> i got a question so y'all been doing this for quite a quite a minute right and i know y'all y'all been in y'all uh y'all roles for a long time but it's been changes within the in the 103.3, and it's been changes in 107. 
Do y'all ever feel like it's competition, or do y'all ever be like, damn, we got to one up them? We focus on us. That's mm-hmm. it. Nah. Cause I know they had a, they had a group. I forgot what their name was. The uh, the two people that came in one hundred seven point three. They was kind of what was the, my Robert. You remember you remember their name? It was a young it was a young people. They was playing hip hop music and shit on one hundred seven point three. Dang, what was their name? They, had, they I don't know. you trying to and start now, some radio beat. I am, but they gone now. They gone now. Now it's Tyler, uh, Sean Tyler, and oh, everything. you talking about Rick Party and um, the girl and uh, Sasha the Diva. Yeah, her. They're very respected radio people. I've okay. known both of them before they. They started doing the syndicated yeah. show. Mm-hmm. The show was actually based out of Atlanta, oh, and, okay. and they played it here. They oh. were not here in Kansas City at all. And I already knew there's no way you can beat us because we're yeah. right here. Yeah. So I, I was mean, like, I was like, they try, they was trying to. It seemed like they was trying to move towards who you guys was, and like they had like a little hip hop segment. And I was like, yeah, we don't they want had that on one hundred seven point three. We, I said, we like it on one hundred three point. Yeah. Why like, you mad though? I don't remember yeah. what it was called, but. Yeah. No, th- there's never no beef. Well, like I, 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 I don't have time to worry about what yeah. somebody else is doing. When you take your eye off your lane, yeah. that's when you trip. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All I can do is is what I do. All Brian can do is what he does. Yeah. And every day we 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 do it to the best of our ability. That's what excellence is about. Yeah. You can't yeah. be excellent two times a week. You got to be excellent every time. Mm-hmm. And Thanks. that's all that. I, I think about. I don't have time to worry about what anybody else is doing, mm-hmm. and I want everybody to win. You know, take care yeah. of your family, make your money. Mm-hmm. You know, but yeah. as far as ratings, we right, <laughs> we step up. I gotta have that, right? Yeah, yeah that's what's up. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. <laughs> so, right? how did the two of you come together and form the Morning Ground with Shade Sound? Like, was it y'all <laughs> idea? Y'all went to my picture, like, hey, we need a show. We ain't walking out of yeah, here until we get it. Like, how did that come about? No. <laughs> I actually got hired to work with another guy named John Blaze. He was on the morning show. Mm-hmm. And I came to oh, be his yeah. co-host. I remember John Blaze. Yeah. And a situation, they kicked him out. Yeah, a situation happened. Yeah. And he was let go. Cortez got all the dirt. <laughs> within, I remember it was it was at the PL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my man yeah. was talking shit at the PL. They got him out of there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That was my guy, though. Damn. Yeah, he's a Him really nice maker. guy. I liked him a whole lot. Yeah. And yeah. we probably did the show one week before that happened. Oh, really? And so once they let him go, they was like, you think you could step up? I'm like, of course I can. Mm-hmm. And so I was still new at the station, and Brian uh, was, like, running the board, trying to show me, like, how to run the board and uh-huh. do all this other stuff. And mm-hmm. they kind of just had him filling in. We were not the morning grind with Shay and Sean. We were still using the old name, which Mm -hmm. was the AM Mayhem at that time. Mm -hmm. And then um, as time went on, I was like, I think we have a rapport. Like from the minute that I met Brian, Mm -hmm. I felt him for some reason. Like I was (laughs) at the white linen party was the first thing that I ever did. I moved Mm -hmm. here on Saturday and the white linen party was the next day. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sitting at the table with John and some guy just walks up. It was Brian. I didn't know that. And I just felt like sadness. And I was oh, like, What the fuck? No, this is How this you going to say this, this on that serious. spin? Like no, because it's the real. <laughs> nah, I, sure. I got nah, you. I got nah. you. I got to hear this. So I'm like, that was a hell of a I felt twist. this sadness. And I was like, God, why am I feeling him? Like, mm-hmm. what is that? Yeah. And it was because he felt looked over for the morning show because he had also applied for the gig and they hired me. Mm-hmm. And so he wasn't mad because that's not who he is he's mm-hmm. got a genuine golden heart but i felt his sadness when he walked okay. up uh, now i get it and so the whole time like he dj'd i'm behind him i'm like rocking you know i'm new york city yeah. so i'm like ah, you doing <laughs> it you better do your thing <laughs> and uh we just was like this mm-hmm. from day one he went and did some kind of party with young dro and i, I rode with him out to st joe and we just been cool ever since mm-hmm. Dang. and okay. so you know the next thing you know they're like okay I was like, let's, it's going to be me and him. I said, I know radio. This is my 10th radio station, and Brian knows Kansas City. Mm -hmm. So I was like, we can't lose. You know what I'm saying? I know what to do on the technical side, and he knows what to do as far as what the city is looking for. And I was just so impressed. Um, This was the year that the Royals went to the World Series, and I went to the parade with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was hearing kids like, oh, my. <laughs> and I was like, celeb like that for real That's and i had up. never seen that before uh-huh. at uh-huh. any other radio station because at the time brian was still part-time he wasn't one of the full-time personalities mm-hmm. so for kids to be like oh my god that's brian Bichon. 
I was like, this kid is a star. That's I crazy. was like, this is what we got to do right here, you <laughs> okay. know? And it's been on ever since. That's on and up. popping ever since. You know what's crazy about when, um, about that, about the day after p and uh-huh. Did you remember I was actually scheduled to work that day? I came to work. Yeah, you came to work. I yeah. was scheduled to work for him that day. He took off. Oh, that day. Okay. <laughs> I was scheduled to work the day at the PNL. The day, the day after, after. The day after. That Monday morning. Oh, okay. And then from that point on, dang, dang, yeah, it was wild, man. Dang, was, I remember my boy that, John. That was that was a wild time. That was a wild time. Was they they was really mad about that, huh? I heard I heard the rumbles in the, in the jungle. Well, I just want to say God bless to my brother John Blaze. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. You know, I've been in this business so long. It's never cool to lose a gig. No. Yeah. You're never ready for it. Yeah. So you know, nothing but love to him. I yeah. wouldn't be here had you know he. He he would have been if he was gone. He was out of here already. But right, but but we you know he really liked yeah. who I was. I came in, did the the um. Did the interview? They put me on the air, and you know they like what I did. They liked yeah. our chemistry together, so yeah. I'm never going shit on John Blaze. Yeah. I remember, I remember when I came in there one day. You was up on the internet looking up. I think it was Twitter. I think you were trying to find new shit for the day or something like that. And I <laughs> want to say she was probably just prepping. prepping. Yeah. yeah, she was prepping. She not like, She was working. really in there, like, and yeah. I, I didn't even know that was a thing. She was looking at the hashtags. I said, I got to yeah. get on Twitter. Well, like, like y'all know, the morning grind is just her and I. It's nobody else two. writing. No, no, nobody doing nothing. It's Damn. her. It's her and I on everything, on production, on interviews, on who book stuff, on who perform stuff. Is 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 her ideas? Is her and I? So y'all ain't got no team. No, we ain't no board. It really. sound like no. a team to me. We, we, they the I team. Mean, they, I mean, team. a team. But you know, some we people be like, all right, here to know. Producer, yeah. no, we don't have that. We, we do team. everything mm-hmm. ourselves. Man, that's tough because because even when you off work, you re- you still working. Mm. Yes, like digitally. I'm always yeah. working. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always working, but that's okay because this is my life's work. Yeah. How does you it work? How does it work? Is one of y'all call in sick? Somebody he don't never him. call in sick. I do though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm the only one to do it. <laughs> Who got the notes? <laughs> Ryan never calls us sick. <laughs> so is it I, awkward doing the show by yourself, or they like I always do a fill in or something? We'll, they get somebody to fill in. Yeah, we'll oh, play, okay. or you know, when B Dub was there, he'll he'll, he'll fill in. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, okay, that's kind of cool, man. I always kind of wanted to be a uh, radio host, but I don't think <laughs> I can. I don't think I can keep up. I think it's like that dead that silence at, at that point. And I feel like that's. That's kind of like too much for me. Well, you like got a lot of practice seconds. on this show. You I still don't feel practice. like because they cause they keep going. It's like da 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 da, and it's like what you think? And it's like da 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 da. And what you think? Da 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 da. But what if it was like da da da? That's when the report comes in. That's when the report comes in. Somebody got to come. That's what I'm saying. You got to feel the other person and know when they. That's that's why they got a good relationship because I I could I could see like y'all feel each other when it's like. Those dead moments, man. Y'all really own it. That's like a, like a, oh. like somebody playing playing. You know, you playing basketball. You pass it to your teammate, and it's they, just like yeah. that. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I know her. I know her like the back of my hand, and she yeah. knows me. Like and then this. and then, like you said, it's like having to play. You know, live play without knowing the words before they come. Mm-hmm. And it's like if I pass you this ball, I hope that you understand what I'm what exactly. I'm what I'm giving you right okay. now. So how does it yeah. work? Before y'all go on, do y'all know what y'all gonna talk about? Like when you have y'all breaks, do y'all compare notes or do y'all just freestyle everything? <laughs> Or do y'all want to give up the sauce? Because you don't have to. <laughs> but we're trying gonna, to get in. The, I'm going to let, I mean? let Shay handle that. She's the brains of the show. I'm the arms. She's okay. the brain. <laughs> okay. Brian doesn't like to talk in the morning. so. Um... <laughs> Why do you have a morning show, my dude? <laughs> I'm just joking with you. He's like, no, I'm no, just here. No, I mean. <laughs> I'm not, you I, say I'm I not a morning like, person. I'm not, man. Got but, the number one morning show but the, the, <laughs> in the goddamn state. The platform, <laughs> the platform and the passion is worth you know, the little pain I have, you know, yeah. waking up in the morning. I've changed on that a little bit, by the way. <laughs> no, you haven't. A little, I have. A little, I swear you I You got to give him some credit. No, he hasn't. I have a little bit. <laughs> Seven years? I've given up. I don't. So, ideally, mm-hmm. we would talk about, hey, this is where I'm going to go with this or whatever. But we don't. Mm-hmm. But because we, I don't know, it's, it's God-ordained. 
we don't never talk about what we're going to do before we do That's it. Why? I know never. what we're going to do, but Damn, we never bro. talk about it mm-hmm. because he doesn't want to talk. Mm-hmm. So I just. He's sitting there with the coffee. <laughs> do we give you a certain uh, time? <laughs> okay, so a little. I'll start talking to you at six. It, a li- <laughs> All right. How does so it work? 9.45. Okay. The show's over at 10. <laughs> so, <laughs> look, a little, ba- a little bit of that is. That is hilarious. A little bit of that is sometimes I'll be editing stuff. And I can't listen to two things at the same time. Sometimes Not about editing, yeah. I can't, bro. Yeah. I can't. And then sometimes Shay will just she'll and she'll if have. I'm a, trying to I, yeah, stop you for ten seconds to say this is what's gonna. Ha- you right. would need to know that mm-hmm. what's gonna come up. You're right, but yeah. I gotta edit this because we finna air this in a minute. Yeah, and, and, and I run know, and edit yeah. stuff too. Yes, you do. Absolutely, you do. But that's <laughs> you know that's kind of you know the mechanism. Like she she'll she'll say something and I'll be like, oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get this so on. So if bro. it sound good to y'all, it would be better if we could talk about it first. <laughs> <laughs> you right? Okay. okay. So, and I and I'll take the blame for that. Cause y'all cause y'all do live edits, so it's like I'm guessing if somebody's calling in, you editing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, callers yeah. or you know Interviews. content, yeah, yeah. yeah, all of that has been edited. Bro, we while got, ago. bro, we played, we got two songs. <laughs> like yeah. I got, I got like literally thirteen minutes or so to get this whole little presentation together for the next break. Yeah, and it's nonstop the whole show. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Man. So y'all in there just running the whole yeah, shit, just y'all. Yes. That is crazy. What the hell? Yeah, that's crazy. All the interviews that you hear booked is booked. Mm-hmm. Shay books them. She all, them. All, them? You know when we, hey, that's when, dope when, though, we man. when we talk to these mothers that have suffered yeah. the imaginable violence to their sons, Shay reaches out and go talk to those those mothers who are grieving. Shay reaches out. She goes and does that, man. Damn, it yeah, take, man. It take a lot to do. We talked to Donnie Sanders' mother. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to start even trying to name names, but the mothers know. They know. Shay she, reached out. She reaching out. Yeah. Do y'all? Do y'all? Do y'all? I don't want to. I don't want to. You know. Whatever. <laughs> I don't want to want to stop nothing. But do y'all ever feel like y'all need help? Y'all asking for help? I mean, like, or just want to. It would be nice. It could only be better if we yeah. had help. Because yeah. I, you know, because some, some people like we just need I don't know help. Nobody's helping. Okay. I didn't want to mess up. I didn't want to mess up their deal. You know. That was a good question. Like, nah, thought... nigga, that's our money. Yeah, like, I got nah. it. <laughs> like we can pay extra for producing our own shit. But no, understand. it would be better yeah. because then we could focus on being talents. Like everything yeah. you see posted online, we do. Everything that's crazy. That's that's done. We have to do. Mm-hmm. We, need so, to take, we need to take. We need to take. really uh, grinding. Like yeah. in the we title, that day. We need to, we need to go. Really grinding. We need to go and meet with them and see how we can be on that shit because we be thinking we grinding, but. <laughs> Robert produced our shit. Everybody, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say it like that though. Robert is a great fucking producer. I'm not saying he's not. It. But I'm saying he's the help. I mean, he yeah. helping us. Oh, you know okay. What I mean? I'm about to say straighten that out, we're man. We're editing the shit. You know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we sometimes we be like, Robert, what's the name of that thing that you saw? <laughs> what's that thing? <laughs> Robert be like, nigga, loving basketball. Like, oh yeah, he did oh, play that. Robert, that is crazy. Hey, but that's dope to hear though, because I never like I've uh, never understood the dynamic of a radio personality. Me you know neither. what I mean? I never knew how much work like it took to do it. And then y'all come in and say y'all basically running a goddamn radio station around this motherfucker. <laughs> that's that's wild. wild. Nah, we're not running a station. You know, we, <laughs> you know, we 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 do our one two on on, on yeah. our show, but everybody yeah. pulls their weight at the station. Julie is a is a king been in this city. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, play. He does his thing in the afternoons. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and shout out to everybody at the station. Who's doing on, who's, thing, who's on Hot Eight Eight? They still got that. Yeah, Deon yeah. Deonna Hustle. Deonna Hustle. Yeah. I listen to Hot Eight Eight in a minute. Joe Canero. Joe Cornejo. I mean. My bad. <laughs> Cornejo. That's my bad. I used to love the hot 88. Man, he be, my cousin got me some tickets man, one time. Cocoa butter. He <laughs> can have his name mispronounced. You know what I'm saying? He said, he said Cocoa butter. <laughs> Shout out to Joe uh, and, and Martel Love. And, yes. You know. How no three gems is a staple in the city. It's like when you go when you go to other places, you try to find a radio station. You know what I mean. And then when people come here, they be like, "How one three gems is the one you want to listen to?" Exactly. Which one Cortez, listen to? I don't think people understand how important. Hot 103 Jams is to the landscape of radio, period, Mm -hmm. and for the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I told you guys earlier, I work for nine other radio stations, and the amount of community work that this radio station does, no other station does it. Yeah. They help me out. No other station does it. And that's on my life. Yeah. Damn. Like all the people who walk in and out, whatever something's going on, we open up the doors to people to be able yep. to talk about if if somebody's missing in your family, if there was a fire, if something's going on, 
this radio station has been that for 72 years. Mm -hmm. When you think about opening up a radio station in 1950 when black people didn't even own a stick of chewing gum and they owned a radio station in 1950. Mm -hmm. 1994, Bill Clinton made the Telecommunications Act and every black radio station got out of the business because mm -hmm. big companies like Clear Channel and CBS bought up all the radio stations mm -hmm. and this family kept the station in the family and stayed here when they mm -hmm. could have got money and Shout left. out to them. So yeah. a lot of people don't know the background of a lot of stuff. People talk and say a lot of different things about mm -hmm. the way things are run, but they don't understand yeah. mm -hmm. what the dynamics are yeah. and the fact that this family has kept everybody working yeah. so that we can take care of families and send people people's kids to colleges and, and, and wear, you know, cute crop tops and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know somebody that had beef with having on three games. I'm glad you cleared well, that up. Well, you know, there's a lot of people who got beef, but a lot of times people don't even understand what they're talking about. <laughs> so if you don't even understand... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, you had right. beef? A little beef with Howard on 3 Now, this one was way before your time. <laughs> beef with what? <laughs> Ron, you, you got just... beef with McDonald's? You got beef with... Who you got beef Ron, with? Ron used like... to be a rapper. He used to be a hardcore yeah, rapper. Yeah, he used to be a rapper. <laughs> wow. I know y'all don't remember. I know y'all see this shit on here. Ron used to be a hardcore rapper in the city. Oh, really? OG Ron. That's what they called him in the city. He looked, right. hey, he looked Back in my former life, I used to he rap, looked, right? He looked just the same. <laughs> you look him up, he looked just the same. Rapper. <laughs> yeah, a little beef out there. You know what I mean? Beef they about won, what? They were playing his records. <laughs> <laughs> they were playing his beats. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they so be. you got mad. You know how they. Y'all oh, know, you know how niggas mad. be on I don't know 3J. They like, I don't know 3J is part of the city, but they ain't playing my <laughs> shit. Ron was like, fuck KPRS. Yeah. He, he wasn't talking about the one, the, the, not the morning, not that's the morning a, time. That's though. a smart way to get your music played. To say, well, fuck it. That's, that's <laughs> All right, look. He didn't know the background. Yeah, I was young. I'm a, I mean, I'm a marketing genius now, but when I was younger, I got frustrated. See, this is one of the things, and I want to bring it. I'm glad you brought it up. It broke some ice. All right. <laughs> he didn't want to say it, but yeah, I, I didn't want to bring that him. bullshit up. But <laughs> <laughs> like now that I'm older, like I still don't really know how the radio works exactly. But this is what it was. Like, um, no, I didn't have any streams. I had no sales. I ain't had nothing. I was just a, like most rappers around here, they feel like when you put a little money in a project, they said you should support them. But, you know what I mean? It doesn't always happen like that. And it's all about who you know and the channels you go through and all of that shit. So I got frustrated and I put out a mixtape like this in the radio station. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I, bet you, I bet you the owner didn't know nothing about it. And, and no, nah, it made a little thing. noise. It made a little noise. <laughs> a little no, noise. It the wasn't jocks a... might have known, yeah. but the person who signed the checks, I guarantee Probably you, not, he no. didn't know. Don't even pay no <laughs> and so people, you, you no, nah, but that really wasn't what it was stuff. about. Like on one of the things it was about, like I didn't understand the politics yet. Mm -hmm. I hadn't got no money yet. I hadn't got no knowledge yet. I was just a young dude who thought he knew everything. I thought. You could just reach out to somebody and be like, um, because who uh, who was the guy? The uh, Marvin Fears. I reached out to him. He's still there. Yeah, he had, he was like basically like you know what I mean. I'm gonna tell you why I got mad exactly. Like I don't even think he knows this. Like nobody knows this. Like I emailed him and I was like, okay, got a project coming up. You know what I mean? Research, see who it was, who you talked to. So he was like, okay, like hit me up when it's ready. Like I think he he said some lingo that I forgot, but I got it like um certified and all that stuff. So when I got the project back, you know what I mean. I just um, inboxed him. It was like I didn't get any response and got frustrated. It wasn't nothing. Like, it was 20 years ago. Like, 20 okay. years ago, 15 or something like that. And one of the things was, like, you know, like now it's popular these days. But back then I was like, okay. They got popular names in the city. And they got a little buzz. But then I got <laughs> done with rapping. You know what I mean? It was just a little ploy. of like, okay, I'm going to build a little buzz. But it was just like. And the only reason I stopped is because, like, I'm a good dude. It was just like a, um, I mean, a publicity stunt. But mm -hmm. some of the vibes I got back from people I really fuck with was like, that ain't the way. You know what I mean? You could do it some different type of way with some positive energy on it. And there wasn't no positive energy on that. You know what I mean? So. Hey, Robert, yeah. when, we, when you play this part, play, play the mixtape, bro. <laughs> play the mixtape, bro. Go ahead and put it on in there. <laughs> put the mixtape on there, bro. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was, it was me and play. Yeah. Um Oh you remember this? Man, what? <laughs> oh, this is even better. You remember the you remember the Because bass? people yeah. are keep okay. holding the jocks accountable who, who have nothing to do exactly, exactly. with that. Yeah. So it's like the people who you really What happened? Tell me the background <laughs> of uh, I, don't know I was still in my twenties. Like literally, like seventeen years years from now. I mean, I I, I woke up one day on Facebook <laughs> and I seen, you know, boycott KPRS. All right, whatever. I you know, we didn't seen that before. But then it's like 
this fat ass nigga Brian be shining, you know, blah 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 blah. Was that you? Like, it was some wow. bullshit. It was some oh bullshit. Oh my god! Find, you didn't say all that. Look, you didn't say all that. Look, fam, it's, you didn't say all that, Ron. I, well, you wasn't on my friends list. I was back. I was on some bullshit. <laughs> god damn it! It's, I look. was mad, man. I was the mad rapper. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they was calling me. So then what happened? And I was, I was mad. None, I mean, look at Cortez. He, and then what happened? Nigga went home talking shit. <laughs> he was like, I'm, I'm fat. Not. I'm fat. This nigga ain't got no brick. <laughs> I ain't got no studio. Play. I bet I won't play his shit. Play. I bet y'all don't play his shit. <laughs> it's just I worked the soundboards. Bet y'all don't play that shit. <laughs> it's just like it's like I was. It was my first like time somebody that came out was like that aggressive against me on Damn. like in public. Yeah. I'm like. What? What did I do? Right, <laughs> like, I'm just doing like, my job. Like fam, I like I don't play no music. I don't have control of nobody's music. <laughs> yeah. We get to work. The music is already picked. Yeah. We don't oh, pick shit. the music. That's it's how they, already done. I, didn't know I had that. never heard of a program director back then that. when I was doing that shit. There's never knew what it was. Directors since the beginning of radio, and I they're the ones I'm who saying, make but all I didn't the know. decisions. <laughs> we don't but, make any decisions on yeah. any uh, of that. I ain't on it no more. Just to be clear, this is good. I don't want to get in trouble with Shay. Goddamn it! That ain't where I'm trying to go. Right. But not it was, the one. It, it was <laughs> on the two. It was, it was the first time, and I was confused. So I just kind of like, I, and I remember you. All right, here's a story. Here's a story yep. for you. Yep. All right? So zoom in. You remember Robert. you had? Remember, I used to host. I used to host a random Tuesday or Wednesday at the Executive Lounge. Oh shit! Yep. Right? Yeah. And he said he was gonna pull up. You yep. remember that? That's OG Ron. Yeah, I yeah, made right. a Twitter. I stopped this nigga, bro. Yeah. Like, I, I really, yeah. I made a Twitter. Like, yeah. it got deep. I was so yeah. mad at these niggas and didn't yeah. even understand. Dude. All right, so. You know what would be funny if we just pulled out right now? It's like, yeah, nigga, we here for. Hey. <laughs> we want to smoke, nigga. Exactly. Hey, our co host. <laughs> hey, our co host said the same shit. <laughs> I'm kind in between. <laughs> yeah, nigga, you thought it was over. <laughs> nah, man, we ain't on that. Ten no, years later. No, I'm nah. just being funny. We been waiting oh, to come man. up with this motherfucker. <laughs> we ain't on that, man. <laughs> <laughs> we all positive. We ain't on that. Oh, man, he changed his life. Oh, go, go, go. <laughs> Let me hear the story, bro. All right, so. Oh, my God. So, my bros found out about it. And and uh, R.I.P. My boy Big Nick, um, you know he he was uh, he came up with us. It was about three or four of us. I think I know Big Nick. Yeah, yeah. he was he used to be a text bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. yep, he, yep, he yep. Passed away. R.I.P. Big Nick. Damn, man. love that dude to death. Okay, Damn, man. so um, yeah, you know, everybody <laughs> pulled up. It was me, Big Nick, and, uh-huh. and a couple bros. You know, up up there at the old Taco Bell, yep. executive yep. lounge. Yep. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That y'all don't turn in into the a dot, club in KCK. In the dot. That's why I love KCK. Entrepreneurship has no limits in KCK, no all right? But, um, so, yeah, you know, we was in there. Uh, I don't know if you showed up or not, but we was, you know. Bro, it was all razzle-dazzle, bro. Wasn't nobody about to show up. Like, like well, it was I just, I was sitting there literally, about, like, right. fucking with him. And the only reason I kept going is because, like, I responded. Um, yeah, you know what? Mm. That was what fueled it. Because I'm thinking... Like, of course, people love controversy. People love to hear bullshit right here. They going to listen to it. But, like, them ain't the motherfuckers I want to hear. Like, I pay for the studio time for them to hear. Like I said, petty, childish, I get it. But when he responded. Oh, he responded? And then you know you got the people that, like, hype up what the negative oh, shit. They're like, yeah, oh, keep fam. going, keep oh, going. Fam. Oh, fam. What during, did you say? During that time, I didn't, I didn't give a fuck. What? During that time. <laughs> like, now, like, I don't do all that. But yeah. back then, like, I had time. I missed this. <laughs> I missed this era. I, I remember, like, I'm glad I didn't come, man. I wasn't going to come yeah. up here. <laughs> I now missed we, this goddamn era. Now, we was going back. Yeah, Tech Nine's bodyguard about to be my ass. I remember, <laughs> I, remember I, I saw an old picture of you, and you had the Selly Cell joints. Yeah. So, you know, I, I did my own my <laughs> own little Facebook post. You know what I'm saying? I said, Selly Cell trying to get it. Oh, <laughs> It's Yeah, they was going in. They was going in. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that, that was really my first time. <laughs> Damn. That was my first time going through something like that. And yeah. and and I'm sure you know this now, but mm-hmm. being somebody that 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 you know that people know, that people listen to, uh, influencer perhaps. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like your y- 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 words carry a lot. Yeah. And yeah. and you got to be careful with who you respond to 
and what you respond to. Mm-hmm. Of course. And and I had to learn that I had to learn that the hard way a lot of times mm-hmm. with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm just now mastering that within the past couple years or so. Well, I was just about to ask you, just like now, because y'all like y'all the celebrities around here. So how does it go now as far as like people who maybe hit y'all up for help or like fuck do that, people Ron. still get mad? What's I, that, fuck that Ron. I know they ain't dropping the mixtape. We still in the middle of the beef. Oh, you want so to get then, to the beef? So then how did it stop? I mean, they just stopped. It just, it it just stopped. Yeah. I ran out of CDs, you know, nigga. You know what? It didn't just stop. I know when it stopped. Okay, let me hear that. I know when it stopped. They said I ran out of CDs. It stopped. You had animal a, CDs left. You, it stopped when you you had a uh, boycott KPRS event. You had an event. He, this nigga he had, had a bro. He, he had, had a park. He had an event. I remember. I remember you he had it. going. Yeah, you still going. Oh, okay. I remember it was a hashtag and everything. Yeah, yeah, he had the boycott. He had a shirt. He had the boycott KPRS event. Uh huh. And then I don't know what happened to to you know I don't know who showed up, but after that, <laughs> after nah, that it was over. No, nah, I ain't trying to throw stuff. Nah, after shade. that, after that, like it it just subsided. It was just it. You know what I'm saying? It was too much negativity. You can't just yeah. be out here campaigning daily with negativity. Like it couldn't yeah. go on for okay, years. Okay, so but. so what made you stop though? Because you seem like you was adamant. I remember the t-shirts, bro. <laughs> Remember the t-shirt? Man, like I said, a few people just said, bro, you doing you know what I mean? you're on some bullshit. You could yeah. do more than that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I remember you went, let in, it go. you went into the comedy thing. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I put him on his first comedy yeah, show. Yeah, you went into the comedy thing. Stop fucking with Joe. You hey, pimped me out on my hey, first comedy hey, show. He like, he like, look at this nigga comedian. <laughs> nah, no, no. This nah. old mad ass nigga doing comedy? Nah. <laughs> Here with his nah. boys, big nigga no. like, look at this nigga. <laughs> nah. Brian's nah. not like that. Nah. Brian is very forgiving. We should pull up on this nigga while he up there trying to be I'm funny. I'm trying to tell y'all, nah. Brian is a forgiving nah. person. He's got yeah. a good heart. He wants to see this city win. This yeah. man loves Kansas City. Mm-hmm. More than anybody knows. I hear it. But people go against him and don't understand how things work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, he's nicer than I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody keeps <laughs> talk, saying. Don't talk to me. Talk to the camera. They, them no, niggas, I need to know. Seriously. Them niggas seriously. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, when people start talking that stuff and saying whatever, it's like, come on, y'all don't even understand how all of this is. This is how people live their lives. Mm-hmm. We just ain't here to do a job. And, and and it gets serious. Moving here to Kansas City, I never had anybody talk junk about me online until I moved here. Yeah. And people who never even met me were saying disgusting things about me. No shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And my family was yeah. ready to come ride. You know what I'm saying? They mm-hmm. like, who are these people? Oh, I what remember are they you had about? some beef on the internet as I've well. never had any beef with it anybody. Was a peop- it was a people on People there. would say stuff yeah. about me, but how do you have beef? And I don't even know you exist. So there's no, no beef. How true. can there be that's beef? True. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I you're you're, it was you're dragging in there, me though. into yeah. stuff that I have nothing to do with. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. pick the music. When we show up at 4 45, 5 o'clock, the music's already in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know I heard, what I'm saying? I heard, I heard somebody say that uh, because a lot mm-hmm. of people a lot of people get mad because we, y'all play the same songs over the, the company play the same songs over and over again. Well, they got to so understand. Get, Let me yeah. explain that to you. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> That's the radio. This is radio. Her, yeah. Okay, this is radio. Her. Most people listen to the car. Listen in their car the length of however long it takes you to go somewhere, Mm -hmm. which in this city might be from 15 minutes to 35, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we are turning audience every 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So you have to think if Cardi B is the biggest song, we're going to play it every two hours because we've got new audience every 15 minutes. Nobody is sitting listening to the radio for four hours at a time. Are you sitting somewhere listening to the radio for four hours at a time? No, man. No, no, you're doing stuff. You got other things to do. Mm -hmm. So what you're trying to do is cater to a large audience. Mm -hmm. You can listen to what you want in your iPod, and that's going to be for your taste and what you like. But Mm -hmm. we're trying to do this for the masses. So what most people want, that's what you're going to play. And that's at every radio station in the world. That's not just KPRS. That's Mm -hmm. everywhere. It's a playlist. That's the biggest misconception I have. Right. Like, oh, in Atlanta. I worked in Atlanta at V103, which is the number one radio station in the town. And Mm -hmm. same thing. It's okay. the radio it's the business. Same thing. Yeah. That's, that's the yeah, thing. and most people don't understand. I worked the at K one hundred four and like... KRMB in Dallas. Same thing. Yeah, it's no difference. Mm-hmm. Q ninety three in New Orleans and WYLD. Exact same thing. No difference. She even mm-hmm. worked in Switzerland. Same <laughs> difference. Same thing. <laughs> no <laughs> difference. <laughs> Switzerland people get these <laughs> records. Man, and see, that's what happens, too. When you're at a certain age and you're doing a certain thing, people will influence you with bullshit. Like, okay, well, man, in this city, they because I did some traveling after that. You know what I mean? I got out and moved around. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, I bought my head, but what I did found you learn? out. What did you learn from other radio stations that you never would have thought you learned if you had just stayed here and listened to people here? That it was a process. It's a process. <laughs> it's a like, business. One word, it's a process. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I learned that. I wasted a lot of money, you know what I mean? And I just figured out what I could have did at the house. When you could have made friends with people and made it easier. That's mm-hmm. what it is. It's about building relationships. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people want someone to invest in your dream. Mm-hmm. And and your dream is great, and I'm glad that it's your dream. But look for a way to see how I can maybe build a relationship with you. Mm-hmm. Because just someone coming out of nowhere, there's a thousand people that have the same dream. Exactly. And how do you curate that? You know what I'm saying? How do you drill down to say, okay, who's the best? Who's really the one that's going to be the next one? Mm-hmm. How, so how does that work? Because uh, a lot of people, like you just said, there's a thousand people that are trying to get their records spent on on the radio. Like, do y'all have a segment where during the day, because I know y'all have it like at night, late at night, that y'all do a segment for all the local rappers or, or singers and shit like that. But I mean, the, the business is ever-changing, man. No. Ever-changing from year to year. It's changing now. And streaming is where it's at. Bro, people think that radio is like step C. Radio is step Z. It's the last step. I okay. like, especially with the internet now. Yeah, it is mm-hmm. the last step, fam. So it's like you trying to you trying to go up to a building without a ladder, you know, basically mm-hmm. is what I how I see it. But mm-hmm. now it's streaming. I mean, if your streaming numbers are there, we can see that. They yeah. can't mm-hmm. deny you. Yeah, we can't like, sleazy. Yeah. Y'all familiar with is Sleazy? He from, is he from here? He's from here. I was confused. Mm-hmm. Sleazy was. Okay. He, <laughs> he finna blow up. Yeah. And his streaming numbers through the roof. Uh-huh. Guess what? Getting played. Because, yeah. again, you're trying to play to the crowd yeah. who people want. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if there's no buzz, if there's no, you know. That's it, the it, word right it, there, the it's, buzz. It's, it's got to <laughs> be there because every second counts. This mm-hmm. is a business. Pull up mm-hmm. your Shazam. Look in Kansas City, and we can see the top 20, top 50, top 100 songs that are being Shazam mm-hmm. in Kansas City. We can see the top streaming songs in Kansas City. Mm-hmm. You know, And we, that's what the people are listening to. That's right. what they're listening to. Like, mm-hmm. people think, it's wild to me that, you know, in this world of analytics and numbers, like, there's analytics in everything. Yeah. I, I guess except radio. There's no analytics with us. Right. We have, we have. You got inf- analytics with your podcast. Yes. Yeah. We have information mm-hmm. That I didn't know what they were <laughs> then when I was going off. Yeah. I didn't have no analytics back then. But now the, the Shazam, the stream, Spotify, YouTube, all that stuff, that goes yeah. into account, you know what I'm saying? And those are the analytics and other, you know, forms of research yeah. that mm-hmm. we use to determine, you know, what people want to hear. So what y'all hear from us ain't what we want to hear. Yeah. It's what y'all want to hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm glad y'all said this on this show. It's kind of crazy because like, we always think about like the old days and everything where motherfuckers was blowing up off the radio. It was like you hear my song on the radio. It's a new it's day. I like that. No, I more. mean, but just, but let's but, but, but and let's, it's not personal. Everybody's thinking like somebody's yeah. personally looking right. at your stuff. Right? Yeah. No, <laughs> it's not. That's not happening. Yeah. That's, right. what I, that's what I thought. No. That's why I, I, I used to think. I used to think Ron shit like OG Ron. I used to no. think. <laughs> I used to think if you send something up there, Brian B or Playmaker look at that shit and be like, okay, this is far. This is whack. But no, you know what I mean. A lot of people just had that perception. If you don't Damn. work in the industry, like people like uh, talk to us now, ask us questions, be like, oh, shit, I know that about a podcast, but this is what we do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they don't know. This so we were just ignorant See, to that. This is where the relationship yeah. come into play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you could find out how it goes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in that way, which with, with, with knowledge, you can now know how to move. Yeah. That's some, I had no patience. Look, look y'all hear that? <laughs> y'all hear that? Y'all getting that knowledge in y'all. Don't oh, they preach it. They not looking at y'all shit and dissing y'all shit, man. Get so I had the question. We in there, first of all, we in there trying to get our show. We ain't got time to look at no. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like literally, mm-hmm. we're trying to do the four and a half hour show we got. Yeah. We're yeah. not somewhere sitting, you know, looking right. at throw that in the garbage. No. no. That would have been funny. Man, you know what? Let me ask you about job. that too. That's the PD's job. Yeah. That's what he does, picks the music. Yeah, we didn't know. I'm we sorry. We don't even I'm see sorry. it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shay. <laughs> so I already asked y'all. I had a question that said what was the downside of it, but I guess like crazy people thinking y'all can just play their music. Is time, that it? Time consuming. <laughs> like, I, you know, just time away from your family, time away from your friends, time away from, from everybody, man. It's, it's, to me, personally, it was devastating. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I, was, I didn't know I was devastated until the pandemic happened. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pandemic happened, and that's when I chilled out. 
that's when I only I only worked at the station. I wouldn't DJ and I wouldn't do nothing else. And that's when I really found out that I need my family, fam. Yeah. yeah. And I wouldn't I wasn't around my family. It was due to um overworking. My, yeah, my yeah. occupation. Not not just radio, but DJing, Everything else. going to yeah. talk to schools, you yeah. know, all that type of stuff. So yeah, yeah. the time it, it takes mm-hmm. a lot of time. Okay. And don't get me wrong, it's 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 definitely not, you know, dealing with the people. We love the people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even people who trying to get their career off or whatever, you know, if you come to somebody with you know, since we'll answer you and, and tell you what you need to do and you just got to believe it. Like a lot of times I'll tell someone, well, you know, I'm not the one who does it. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because y'all, like, y'all the face. I guess why they, that's yeah. why. Yeah, that's yeah, what people face. think, that I do every job at the radio station. Right. Mm-hmm. Like people hit me up all the time in the inbox. Hey, I had won some tickets. Uh, yeah. I'd be like, I'm yeah. sorry. All they got the a whole promotions department. Can I just come get they, my tickets from you? Can I meet no, up with you? they deal that with that. Hilarious. There's departments. <laughs> All the time. The station All the time. That's that's handle things. Yeah. That is she crazy. Said, she said, what? I don't Girl, I don't know about tickets. your damn tickets. <laughs> I don't got your tickets. But you shouted me out. <laughs> like, right. right. If they want it with us, they think that, yeah. you know, I'm handling it and I can tell them where the seat is. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't. There's the promotions direct, the, who handles that, mm-hmm. that piece of it. So, I mean, I love dealing with our listeners. We love doing what we do every day. It's a labor of love. We get up that early in the morning and yeah. try to give this city what it deserves. Yeah. So this Ooh. is why, you know, Brian was talking about booking all the guests and reaching out to the mothers because this is something that's serious. I've never lived in a place where people loved each other as much, but there was so much violence. Yeah. Everybody knows each other. That's so it's deal. like you're killing people that you know. Yeah. Yeah. And the pain is real. Yeah. Like I said, I'm a feeling person. I can feel that. Yeah. So I use this platform and mm-hmm. say, okay, Brian, we need to make sure that we're getting people on to talk about what's going on in their lives. So hopefully we can impart to somebody, stop Wilding out and killing people, being emotional. Mm -hmm. You know, even the situation we've been laughing about, that could have turned ugly. Yeah, for no reason. You know what I'm saying? For no reason. And now, 10 years later, we're here all laughing and having a good time. You know, but things go left every day. Yeah. So just, you know, that, 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 that's just what I wanted to say. That's dope. Man, I just want to say, like, congrats on on having the number one morning show. God is good. 100. I'm God glad me and Brian B is in a good space now, and he ain't looking for me. Not, not at all. All peace and love, black man. man. It's That's dope as up. hell to me, Shay. I love her motherfucking attitude. I know Bianca's going to have an attitude because she loves when women come on the show, because we don't get that many. Yep. And, um, yeah, thanks for coming, man. We appreciate y'all. Thank it was, y'all. This was dope. Thank y'all, man. Appreciate Thank the love. God, God bless love. y'all. God yes, bless y'all. We out.